Jeremiah 10 and 1. Hear ye the word which the Lord, uh, which the Most High speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus said the Most High, learn not the way of the heathen. Yeah, that's right. Learn not the way of the heathen. A heathen is a non-Israelite. Okay? Negro, Latino, Native Americans are Israelites. Okay, you're supposed to, you're supposed to love your culture. You ain't supposed to be out here wearing skinny jeans, shaved beards, celebrating Christmas. That's a, that's a heathen, that's a heathenistic culture, man. Okay, what, what's the word for, uh, that's a, a, a pagan holiday, man. Okay, just like the movie uh, Compass is coming out. That's the, that's the, the original Santa Claus, man. You know, the original pagan Santa Claus. When you're talking about the actual Saint Nick, that was an Israelite, man. And he wasn't about no Christmas, man. He was about spreading the gospel. The actual Saint Nick. Okay? I believe he was, uh, he dealt on, no, 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 that, I'm thinking of uh, Saint Patrick. Uh, but Saint Nick was the actual saint, which I, I, I don't have the book, the Russian icons, they'll show you, they, they, uh, they show a depiction of him. Which is a man of a melanin, a I man of he color. Was in Ireland too. Saint Nick. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not sure. We we have to get up, get the facts on it. You know, y'all can look it up if y'all want to. But I don't think it's you know something to dwell on right now. Go ahead. Uh, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. Yeah, dismayed at the signs of heaven. All these um the the, the so-called images of the, of the witchcraft of Esau, the stars, you know, the zodiac and all that, you know, you're supposed to really, the, the zodiac, it does have a, a, a thing, a, a part to play, but it's not, it's not like that, it's, it's just get into the scriptures, man, okay, you do have eclipse, you do have uh, um, so-called shooting stars, things of that nature that do show you that, um, a prophecy is about to come to pass, okay? But you're not supposed to be dismayed. Uh, let's look up that word. Dismayed, gotcha. Yeah. Dismayed at the signs of heaven. And then this is actually, like, when you read down, uh, this is actually going into Christmas, man. So it's deliberately telling you not to uh, celebrate Christmas right there. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get to it. Oh, okay. I ain't know you were. Okay, my bad. Oh, you talking about 10 and 1? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I thought I was thinking about 7. 7. We can read both of them. Uh, it's like. All right, All uh, right. Dismayed, it goes to the Hebrew word, um, dang. <laughs> uh, kakath, which, uh, to be shattered, be dismayed, be broken, be abolished, be afraid. All right, uh, to be shattered, be broken, dismay, to dismay, terrify, to shatter. Yeah, so basically you don't want to be uh, discouraged at these signs, the prophecies that come to pass, okay? The uh, Even, you know, solar eclipse, moon eclipse, okay? The mega moons, you know, so-called shooting stars or meteorites, things of that nature. You're not supposed to be... Uh, broken up about that. You're supposed to really get excited because it's the most high is letting you know that prophecies come to pass or if a prophecy come to pass. Okay, just like what's going on in Syria Syria with Russia, that that is not supposed to put you in and destruct, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, because that's according to prophecy. Okay? Um this this so called uh, uh war the war on Black Lives Matter movement that is an exciting moment because that's nation against nation according to the scriptures. And what's that telling you? That the Lord is on his way back, man. Only reason why you would get broken up or discouraged about it Everything that's going on in this society is scriptural based. 
Uh, and nowadays, a lot of people read the scripture as though it's a fairy tale or it's a story about back then. And when you go outside, it doesn't match up. Everything in these scriptures match up in society. It's just that in modern day Christianity, it's been projected the wrong way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not fooling it. I wish I was. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I, I know. I know. I know. Shalom. You know. Uh, hey, you know what? It's all peace. Yeah. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, that's what we have. Yeah. I mean, it, it's going to be peace. You know, but before it's a it's a calm before the storm. That know? it is. We, we have to we have to go through go through the storm in order to fix it. You know, in order to, to make a new house, you got to tear one down, and that's very destructive. You know. So that's what we're talking about just now. That we're excited. To see the house being torn down is because we know a new house is coming. Okay, now people that don't believe in a new house, they see that house being torn down, it's just, it's, 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 tearing, it's tearing them up. It's tearing them up. So that's why I say in Proverbs that, you know, <laughs> hey, you know, uh, in a time of calamity, we shall laugh, you know. So that's 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 what's going on now. You know? Read that word. Yeah, read yeah. Word. We, we got to read the word. That's all, that's all we have to eat, you know. This is the only food we got. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's all right. Uh, Inshallah, you brothers keep up the good work. Come, come. Shalom. Shalom. Uh, let's go ahead, man. You know, that's. <clears throat> go ahead with the scriptures. Uh, do you want me to read down to the. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're we'll going to go back and forth. We're going to go back and forth. All right. Uh, Jeremiah 10 and 3. Uh, well, I'm going to go to the second half of 2. It says, uh, And be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the. For the heathen are dismayed at them. Yep, the heathen are dismayed. Okay, we're not we're not dismayed at the signs of heaven, like we said. We, we gave, I gave the theory of the house. When the house is broken down, we're not dis, we're not broken up or discouraged. Okay, the the heathen are discouraged, and guess what? Two thirds of Israel are discouraged, man. Okay, like something happened with France or shooting and all that. And you, you all up in arms, you know, you, you all like, oh man, we, we need to come together. Huh? Man, look, I'm excited, man. The Lord's coming back, man. Okay, you forgot about that? You forgot the Lord said this is going to happen, then I'm going to come back? Okay, you know why that that, that is not a uh, situation for you? It's because you don't believe the Lord's coming back. I'm, I'm, all my eggs are in that basket, man. Okay, when, when the most I say you make your, your body a living sacrifice, uh, uh, come eat out of the world. We 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 have done that. So all our eggs are in the basket of the Lord coming back. You know, and we strongly. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like super hating. You know, I'm just. I know for a fact the Lord is coming back. I don't mind putting my eggs in that basket. I, you know, basically like you got an underdog. And you put. I put my life savings on, on this fight or on this football game, or on this basketball game, because I know they're gonna win. You know. The referee telling you what's going to happen. You know? The owner or whatever. Go ahead. For the customs of the people are vain. Yeah, the customs of the, of the people are vain. Christmas. You mean to tell me it take you one, one time in a month to get the Christmas spirit? You're supposed to have that type of jolly, respectable, honorable, open the door for individual all year round, man. Nah, Why well, take Christmas for you to be all... I actually get mad when people are nice in Christmas time. You know? Like you, you, cause, cause January you're gonna be an animal, man. You're gonna turn back into an animal, man. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you have January, cause January you're trying to better yourself. Because if you get a New Year's resolution, you're trying to better yourself. I'm real. Once February hit, really want some taxes go out. You know what I'm saying? Then, then you back to really want some taxes hit. That's when you start becoming a, 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 um, yeah, a, a nigga all over, man. Okay. And then you gotta wait for a holiday. A holiday shouldn't change your spirit, man. The, the pagan holidays, you know, the, the the high holy days of the scriptures, like like the Purim, okay, like the Purim, that should that should put you in a in a realization in a different spirit, man. You know, just like the Passover. The Passover puts it has a it has a spirit of basically. I hope the Lord is is still dealing with me, man. I hope I can. I hope I can make it, man. It, it shows you how serious your salvation is, man. That 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 spirit is in the environment of the Passover, man. Brothers become like super humble and, and you know, 
is that like y'all get for that New Year's, we keep it going, but we just always get reminded, okay? Ain't like we just super humble. We super humble um, upon Passover, then next thing you know, we back to being Negro niggas again. No, we are we, are, we realize and we try to enhance our humbleness. We try to enhance our sincerity in, in serving the Lord, okay? The, the Purim, the, the uh, Feast of, uh, feast of uh, First Fruits, uh, Hanukkah, okay? Especially atonement. <laughs> you know, atonement. You know, and the crazy thing is, that's why I said now people like to pick up other cultures, man. You, you, Easter, Halloween, ain't now stuff, man. You know, Brazilian weaves, you know, uh, uh, shaved, shaved beards. That, that ain't, that ain't our culture, man. Okay? Like, you, you like to say, oh, just because I talk this way, I don't, I don't speak white, I speak proper. No, you speak like a white person, man. Because when you go in the predom predominantly Israelite uh, neighborhood, they don't talk like that, man. They have their own culture, man. And then when you get popped for being a house nigga, you want I speak proper. No, nigga. No, you don't. You speak like a white person, man. Okay? Because the word proper is basically, it means what's appropriate for that situation, man. Okay? Uh, I can speak on it because uh, the, the way that the Mexicans and the Puerto Ricans speak Spanish, they don't speak like that in Spain. Yeah. It's still Spanish, but no, it's, it's slang to it. Yeah. I heard somebody say uh, a Spanish word for, um, I think it's, uh, it's pescado or pescado for like fish or something like that. And then I talked to a woman from, from Argentina and then the guy told me how to say fish is something different. And I said, no, this, this Spanish lady told me, he said, well, that's a proper way. I said, how is an American way to say, an American Spanish way to say something is more proper than a, the actual Spanish way to say it? You know? Of course, you got Spanish and Portuguese. But she spoke Spanish. You know what I'm saying? So how you gonna say that way is more proper? That's 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 the American way. They think the so-called white man way is the right way to do it. Just like in this society, how you eat, you go to Walmart or you go to the Whole Foods store, you buy your food. Okay? Now if it, if it's if it's uh uh martial law, oh uh, hell breaking loose, that ain't the proper way to eat. <laughs> you know? It's just a, it's appropriate for the situation, man. Go ahead. <clears throat> for one cut at the tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. Yeah, that's right. A lot of you, a lot of you Negroes that won't talk stuff. All y'all got that up in the in your house. You got a, a tree in your house, man. This is way before America, man. Okay? This is Babylon. This is before Rome. Okay? This is before Rome was, was fully established. Okay? This is before all that. So that Christmas pagan BS been happening, man. Okay? Fastening a, a, a tree and decking it and doing all these things, man. It's a pagan, it's a pagan uh, ritual, man. You might as well just worship Satan. Just do what you want. Worship any God you want. Don't try to put yourself under the umbrella of the Bible and you worshiping pagan holidays, man. You know, that's that's being that's being disloyal, man. Just keep it a buck. You know? Keep it a buck and just say you you just do what you want. Whatever holiday floats your boat, you're gonna do it. You know? And uh, you know, it's, it's through the spirit that you said what you said before to the dude, you know, about uh um what you read in the scriptures actually applies to real life. Because the brother just read the scripture about the, the tree being fast and then the decking it with the silver and gold. Look what's all around us. Yeah. yeah. It's nothing but goddamn Christmas trees. Lit up. Yeah. I mean, they put lights, but, you know, just in case a nigga want to be petty. You know, we talking about, it, it's, it's, it's definitely this shit, but it really goes all the way into the fact that when you, cut that damn tree or you get that fake one and set it up in your house man and put them balls on it and and, and, and Christmas ornaments that's what it's that's, that's what it's mainly describing you can't you can't duck or dodge that yeah yeah, yeah. you know he's saw my say well these aren't Christmas trees they're like they lit up this is a Christmas spirit shit this is the yeah. brothers implying uh, no. you know 
didn't have this shit up a month ago. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have it up a month ago. Because it, it, it's very, it's very helpful to have this this park lit up at night. You know, you decide to light it up for Christmas spirit. It's a pagan holiday. It ain't the day that the Lord was born. The Lord was born in, in the beginning of the year. This is the the, the deadest time of the year, man. This is the time with the, the, the least amount of light is, is projected on earth, man. The coldest time of the year, man. The Lord was born around Passover, man. Okay? He couldn't, when you hear about the story of him not being able to get into, they, they weren't able to get into the hotels because uh, uh, it was so full because of the Passover. That should be a light in your, light in your mind letting you know <laughs> what time of year it was, man. Okay? And when you read your Bible, it tells you that the Passover is, uh, what is it, month of the uh, dawn? Okay? Uh, Am I correct? No, uh, Nissan. Nis is it Nissan? I'm, I'm double checking it too while you were talking. I, was... I know uh, it's a, the 14th day. Mm -hmm. Well, it it uh it says uh the first uh the first month on the fourteenth day. Yeah, but you can go on the Hebrew calendar and look up. Yeah, it, the, okay, here we go, bam, right here. Uh, this is uh Nehemiah two and one, and it has D sign. I'm looking up the uh, It goes to the Hebrew word, uh, the Hebrew word, uh, now your son, all right? And it says their flight, uh, the first month of the Jewish calendar corresponded to March or April. Yeah, corresponding to March or April. It's really like, like sometime February, between February, March, and April. You know, depending on the leap year situation. Okay? Now dig this. All right, it says, uh, this is, uh, the, the Guinness and Lexicon. It says, Nisan, the first month of the Hebrews called in the, uh, Patak, which, it said, uh, the, the, oh, yeah, denotes the month of flowers. You know what I'm saying? Basically, like you said, bringing life, you know? Yeah, because springtime is, in this society, spring is in, what, April, May, okay? That's the same time, according to the Hebrew calendar, which is the Passover, which is the beginning of the year. In this society, <laughs> the beginning of the year is the, the, the coldest of the, of the time, which is the winter, January. Okay? But the beginning of the year actually starts when the, uh, the, the world begins to, to uh, become new. Okay? The world becomes a new world. Flowers come back. Okay? Everything starts growing. Hello, gentlemen. Okay? Hello. How you doing? We're wonderful. How are you? Yeah, everything starts growing and doing doing what it does. That's the beginning of the year. It feels like the beginning of the year. Animals come out of hibernation. And, yeah, animals come out. You know, people come out. How about saying people? You know, they be hiding. The moles come out. <laughs> yeah, the ducks come back. Yep, the ducks come back. Everything starts to, to become new, man. Yep. Okay. So with that being said, it's common kind of sense that's the beginning of the year according to the Lord. It makes sense when the Lord said this is the beginning of the year. Not when you go outside and it's cold, you don't see nobody, you don't see no animals. That, that sounds like the end, okay? I'm about to say, because even Easter, that, that pretty much goes back to the fertility guy, you know, bringing life. Okay. You know what I'm saying? They don't have that shit in December, you know? They basically got that from, from the Nissan, man, a month of Nissan, all right? Yeah. And now your son. That comes from um, basically Yahweh Shai being linked with Christmas came, came with that. That um, Constantine, with all all that, trying to merge pagan rituals with Christianity, man, to bring to bring peace to Rome, so to speak. Okay, because you, you of course you had the Holy Roman Empire, but you you still poly, polytheistic uh, a, a polytheistic society. So in order for him to merge the Bible into that, he had to you know unify both of them, man. Okay. Basically, you say, okay, yeah, the Lord was born. We got to celebrate that, on, on, you know, so to speak, uh, connected. Okay? And say, okay, yeah, Christmas and this and that, and link it up with that, man. Okay? Other holidays. 
All these holidays really go back to Babylon, man. Okay, you might as well just go to Africa and hang out. Or, or go to, you know, Iran. The people you hate, you know, it's the main culture you picking up on, man. The main two, the, the Hamites and the, and the Arabs, man. Okay, that's all the, all them rituals you getting from. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, that was it. It's uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 7 and 29. Lo, this only have I found that the Most High made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Yep, the Most High basically, man, man in general, he made everybody to, to follow the laws. But one person, was, one nation was made to enforce it and, and really revere the law, which is Israel. Okay? okay. We all made upright. But you sought out many inventions. That's that's talking about, oh yeah, we, we gotta love, we gotta come together. That's an that's an invention, man. Okay? Uh Christmas. Like we're talking about um Thanksgiving or or you know, just different laws that Esau puts out there, the so-called white man or, or the rich elite put out there, or the way of life. You know, get get money. Putting your children before you put your before before your spouse. That's an invention, because according to the scriptures, your spouse is supposed to go before your children, okay? Because you can always have children, you know? So basically, of course you can always have a spouse, but you, you need a spouse before you get children, okay? Yeah, you don't get a child without a spouse. You can say, oh, I can get another spouse. No, man, if you never had a spouse ever again, could you have children? No, okay? If you, if you lose your children and you keep that spouse, you can keep having children. You can't stop that unless you get to that, that age, you know? Go ahead. Go back to Jeremiah. This is, uh, this is Jeremiah chapter 7, and um, I'm going to go uh, verse 10. It says, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start back to 9. It says, will you still murder and commit adultery and swear falsely? And burn incense unto Baal, and walk after other gods whom ye know not, and come and stand before me in this house which is called by my name, and say we are delivered to do these abominations. Yeah, the Lord ain't give you no, no, uh, no, no pass to be out here celebrating Christmas, man. I don't care what you thought it was. It ain't in the Bible. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Get that. Let's get that. Most I ain't give you no license to do evil. Oh, I, what I believe is Christmas is all about loving and caring, and I believe that's what God is all about. No, I don't care what you think God is all about. He ain't about Christmas. Okay. Go ahead. Ecclesiastes 15 and 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. Go ahead. Neither hath he given any man license to sin. So you don't get it.